ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Uh, after a little bit of time off, and uh, we're happy. It's a good, good challenge, good fight, and uh, we, we, especially with the, the style of uh, old boxer, like we, we expect a good fight for the fans. Why do all the fighters you have punch so hard? You have one of the <laughs> hardest punching trainers in the world. It's maybe I have a. a, a to be honest, I like to train guys like that. It's uh, like some coach I like to, to work with more technician and, and stuff like this. Uh, I can work with any kind of fighter, but I have a, a little preference for guys who can punch a little bit. You know, it's a, it's a game changer. It's a it's a equal laser in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a sport of boxing. I think as a professional boxer, it's very important. Do you like force guys to punch through? The, I'm curious because I feel like in your gym you're making people punch through the bag. No, it's uh, to be honest, all the boxers that I have right now in the gym is boxers that I pick from amateur boxing. And when I, I scoot and I look at them, this is one of the quality that I, I look like. I know it's very important for professional boxing. And uh, Hot Rod gave Marcus Brown a tough fight, but he also said he almost retired. Where do you rate him at this point? He's a good young fighter. Like. First of all, he's a game fighter. Like he, he come here and he, he come for real, and uh, I respect that. Like he's a he's a he's a true fighter in a, in a, in a, the first sense of the word fighter. But the the thing is, like uh, I think like Arthur Bedev have a better ex uh, general experience from the amateur, from the professional also. And I, I really I truly believe we're ready to perform Saturday. And he's one of the best amateurs of his era. When he he's all like, yeah, 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 world really champion was. and yeah, yeah, but like, two like, three time. Yeah, like he was a really scary guy. Is this kind of like uh, if he does well here, then it's just like you said, unifications and just all. Yeah, this is this fight. is our, our main goal. Actually, we don't want, want to do a other kind of fight. Like we do want to do unification with other champion. But the thing is, we have a real challenge Saturday, and now all are focused on. So, on our and this would be your last thing because another going. So you're treating it kind of like the amateurs. You got a bracket system. This is the first guy in the bracket, and then you want champions next, next, next. Actually, uh, every four years, like I make a, a listing about 15 guys that I like, and I go to the Olympic. I go around the world, yeah. and I I look at them, I study them. Uh, I remember first time I saw Better Be Ever. Like to me, it was like he was world champion. I was in Chicago in 2007, and I, I don't believe I was able to bring him to Canada. But after a couple of years of negotiation, like he he came and we we worked together from that point. But I was more saying like you're treating this uh, this fight and then the following fight for Better Breeze career almost like you're in a tournament right now. So hot rods round one and then a, a title holder. Yeah, your career is always a little bit a tournament. But uh, we really we try to focus really on our job like fight by fight. For sure we have like a main objective like a general objective at the end of that is unify the title. But right now we're going step by step and next step it's hot rod. And the last thing. What's the one thing Hot Rod could bring to this fight that could disrupt rhythm, flow, or anything for Better Beef? But to be to be honest, I really believe like Better Beef saw everything like as an amateur, as a professional, also like he, he saw all kind of fighters like southpaw, orthodox boxer, counter puncher, uh, hard uh, hitter. Like he, he saw all of that. But the the, the main thing that, that I, I, why I respect Hot Rod is like he's a true fighter. He's gonna come and he's a, he's gonna try for real. A lot of guys like they show in the ring and they just come and take the check and go back home. It's not the case here. Hot Rod is a real challenger. He's a young man, very ambitious, and is gonna be guarantee a good fight for the fans.